Hey, 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 this is the Kali Monkey. Welcome back to a new episode of Game Diggers. Jumping right back into Thimbleweed Park. It was quite a plot twist where we saw that actually Uncle Chuck was quite interested in adventure games as well. And his AI was doing strange things. And we also found out that the security guard that was blamed for it was actually the father of our agent race. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Let's see if we can pick up this one. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. Go back. Guy just keeps digging. Crazy guy. So there is something hidden here. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. I don't need to find any books now. Okay, I thought you did, but it's fine. Can we go outside now? Finally, thank you. That's good. So we can pick up some tubes, but first let's pick up a let's pick up a cart. And at eight, now actually we can uh, sort of go to the hotel maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? No, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, all the lights are out. It must be broken. The instructions say, insert coupon for movie. Mm -hmm. Grand. Uh, was it this street or was it this street? Ah. I thought it was this street. Yes. So, give receipt. To Ricky Lee. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This Thank is you. a top of the line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. A tube puller. Hmm. Can we finally like get all the different tubes everywhere? That is interesting. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Hello, Dolores. How's life in the big? Hello. It's a Interested in a little interview for the award-winning nickel? I'm sure our readers would be fascinated. Maybe after the will reading. It's a perfect way to get your side of the story out. Local girl makes good making... Making... What is it you make again? Adventure games. Ah, Adventure games. games. You mean for kids? Uh... No, our main audience is adults. Lots of shooting and killing, that sort of thing. Adventure games are all about story and characters. Sounds like something I would like. I'm writing a novel. It's about the first female president in 2017. <laughs> I didn't know you wrote fantasy. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Dolores. I'm a little confused. He was a cop. I'm not sure why I stopped by. That's okay. I know times are tough for you. I think I need to go. Thanks for talking, Natalie. Bye, Dolores. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Chuck's passing. Bye, Natalie. It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX-11380. TX-11380. Fair. Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? Hey, Willie. Hi, Dolores. A long time no see. Well, that's what happens when you piss your uncle off by getting a fancy job at the video game factory. Good job on that, by the way. <laughs> Chuck was fuming. 
I'm sorry my Uncle Chuck destroyed your life. Your Uncle Chuck was a petty, egotistical, arrogant man. But you're all right, Dolores. I guess in your case, the acorn does fall far from the tree. What happened between you and Uncle Chuck? He never really explained why he had you blacklisted in town. If you really want to know, I took one of his many girlfriends to see that creepy insult clown perform. Chuck never could stand to lose, even on principle. So he made an example of me. My uncle was such a jerk. You're a sweet kid. Now you might have your uncle's brains, but you still held on to your heart. Don't ever lose that. See you, Willie. Dolores, it's me, Dad. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. Okay, so let's go on a quest to dry. Dry. Actually, thinking about it. I think there was some. Maybe we could use this dryer. Ha! It's working. The paper is drying out. That's smart. Simple and smart. So now we could go here. Throw it in here. Get the blood results, get the warrants, and try and arrest. A friend. Boom. There it is, there it is, there it is. Blood on a wallet matched the body's blood. Okay, so it's the corpse's blood. We sort of knew that. This is the evidence we needed. So use but report. It doesn't seem to be working. What? Odd. It seems Odd. It seems to be missing a tube. Hmm. She has a tube. Find missing a restaurant tube. It's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare, hard to find. So, is this the one? I'm not sure which one it is. Let's see. That's Aha! the exit. Awesome. Insert three reports from the Blotron 3000, Fingertron 3000. Uh, almost, almost. Just this thing that she has. And we can get our warrant. Da -da -da. Everyone can just walk in and out everything here in this town. Fingerprint report. There we go. Oh. Arrest Willy. Oh, what have we here, Reno? Have our big city agent of Reno's actually solved the murder? I'll take that. Let's see what it says, Reno. Oh. Blah, Reno, blah, Reno, oh, blah, Reno. <gasps> ah, Willy T. Wano. Just as I suspected, Reno. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Willie, you are under arrest, Areno, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? He was sleeping, though. What? Come with me, Areno. Well, Willie Areno, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Areno? These feds will break you. You want to close this case, Areno? Have at him. Okay. Who wants to play bad cop and who wants to play good cop? Um. He is the good cop, obviously. I'll play good cop. No, no. I thought I thought the other one was playing, t talking. Well, I'm the bad cop, and she's the good cop. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell him that. Well, I'm not good <laughs> cop, bad cop. I did it! I did it! I killed the man by the bridge just to watch him die. Wow. Anything else you want to confess to? I also kidnapped the Lindbergh Where did Dolores baby. go? Keep talking, murder boy. I'm D.B. Cooper and I stole all the money. <laughs> wow. Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I'm Jack the Ripper. Blab on. You can't beat good cop, bad cop. No, I didn't do it. The beef. Anything else you want to confess to? I'm the Zodiac Killer. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't the mess big house. with the feds. Later that night. I'm glad I caught the killer, and we can finally leave this stinkhole. That's oh, not such a bad leave. place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah, I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. She's going. She's really going. Holy shit. Is he going? He is going as well. What? Part 4, the wheel. What happened to our inventory items? Wow. Well, that was an interesting end. Are they really gone? Who knows? Stay tuned, next time we're gonna continue with the next part. Part 4, The Will in Timbleweed Park. See you tomorrow, bye bye.